Francois Mortier's house. Hard. Do I actually have to break into it? I suppose. Hopefully he's not pissed about this. Oh, well, um, hello. You must be the one Lucien Lachance told me about. I've been expecting you. We haven't got much time, I'm afraid. I borrowed quite a bit of gold from some underworld types. I, uh, I missed a payment. Now they don't even want the money. They say I insulted them. They've sent an enforcer to kill me. His name is Hides Heart, and he's on his way here now. That's why I hired you, so you can fake my death. Go on, Motier. I'm listening. Well, when Hides Heart gets here, I'll put on a little act. You'll cut me with your poison knife, and that vile enforcer will think I'm dead. You must then flee from Coral, and Hides Heart must not be killed. That way he can go back and tell his employers I'm dead. If you wait a day, my body will be put on display in the Coral Chapel Undercroft. You can come to me then and administer the antidote. Got all that? Good. Hides his heart will be here any moment. Get ready. Oh, I do hope this works. Oh, me too. I need to very quickly equip the dagger. Put it away. Uh oh, oh. Jerry, uh -oh. I know you're in there. My employers are most displeased. I'm coming in, and you can beg for your life. <laughs> Not that it will do you any good. <laughs> Motiera, I am here to exact payment in blood. You will... Huh? Who is this? Oh, no. What am I to do? An underworld enforcer and a dark brotherhood assassin, both here to kill poor Francois. The dark brotherhood? Oh... You have been a naughty boy, Motier, haven't you? Stand aside, assassin. Motier is mine. My employers demand it. I don't think so. <laughs> Motier has been slashed with the Lagroine Blaine uh, and appears to have died from the wound. As expected, I must now flee from Coral and leave Hides' his heart alive. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Guards! Guards, stop that man! Guards! Guard- Hey, guards! Guards, where are you? <laughs> hey! You! You! Help me out here! You're just gonna let him do this? Oh, you're gonna look at him and not do anything about this? You don't know what's going on, you just see a man attacking me! Let me guess, a little Argonian on Argonian violence is accepted because you're racist. I fled Coral and Hides' his heart has not been killed. I must now wait a day so Motier can be discovered and placed in the Coral Chapel Undercroft. There I must find Motier and administer the antidote that will revive him. I like how that's all it takes. It's like, oh, you left the city? You stepped outside of the city walls? Well, I guess I can't follow you then. Because that would be too much trouble. Alright, it's been a day, so I think we're ready to save Motier. Fun fact, fun little Skyrim fact, Motier is also the name of the uh, guy from Skyrim that hires you to kill the Emperor, so it's the descendant of this guy. There's your little trivia for the day. I've administered the Langer Wine Antidote, and Francois Motier has awakened from his poison-induced sleep. I should now speak with him and make sure he's well enough to travel to the Grey Mare. Oh, okay, I got scared for a second. Oh, I'm a bit stiff, but quite fine otherwise. Ah, yes, the Undercroft. My family members are buried here, you know. Which um, leads me to something I may have failed to mention before. My ancestors will see my revival as a desecration of their tomb. This undercroft is, well, quite cursed. Any desecration will cause my ancestors to rise from their graves and defend their resting place. 
I can hear them coming as we speak. You must protect me. Escort me to the Grey Mare where I can buy passage out of coral. All right, you just stay ah, back. Here they come. Oh, my, Aunt Margaret. You're looking the worse for wear. All right, you stay back. I'll defend you. Oh, no, 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 no. God damn it. I'm just trying not to hit him. Like, that's my concern right now. Just punching zombies to death. I respect it. Oh god. No, don't run towards them! I need to handle this. You need to stay back, Motier. The living Motier, not the zombie Motier. Because I could go and, like, go out of my way to kill the other zombies, but that's just unnecessary, frankly. <laughs> what if people were just like, My god! By the divines, Motier, he walks! I heard he was dead. Like, you'd think we have to be a little bit sneakier about this, huh? But no, it's fine. I think no one questions it at all. By the nine divines, okay, you're yeah. the grand champion of the arena. I am indeed the grand champion. Grand champion, hey. uh, master of the fighters guild, the archmage, hero of Kavach, the list goes on and on. Ah, the Grey Mare, Coral's finest repository of wine, women, and song. Okay, I thought he was going to say more than that for some reason. Ah, the Grey Mare. From here I will be able to arrange for transportation out of Cyrodiil. You have served me well, assassin. Francois is forever in your debt. Farewell. Just think, if we hadn't helped him, then 200 years from now, maybe Emperor Titus Mead. Was it Titus Mead? I'm going to go with Titus Mead. Titus Mead II would not have been assassinated. Hey there. Oh. You are like a dark gift from the Night Mother herself. Please, tell me how I can help. Ah! So Mottieri has escaped. Well done. As payment, I am pleased to award you this amulet, Cruelty's Heart, as well as another advancement in rank. Oh, damn. I hereby bestow upon you the title of Eliminator. Why, thank you. Your blood is cold, your heart hard. You exemplify everything the Dark Brotherhood stands for. I present to you now this key. It unlocks the well behind the abandoned house above. Use it to gain hidden, quick access to this sanctuary. There you go. That's what I was waiting for. That's what I've been waiting for. And a new rank. All right. Well, before I do anything else for him... Oh, damn. Fortify willpower and strength for 13 points? Hot damn. Uh, before I do anything else for him, I think we should help our fellow guildmates, our... Brothers, our shadow scale Brother, brethren. if I may have a word. Oh, I'm coming of back course. to you. I what was talking it? to him. Everyone's talking about your latest exploits. Not only did you eliminate the target, but his six Imperial Legion escorts as well. Okay, never mind. Most impressive. Never mind. By cities, what a night that was. Reminded me of the time you and I raided that traveling carnival. What? Traveling carnival? Oh, that takes me back. I want to hear about that. Yeah, remember, dear brother, I can't always be there to get you out of trouble. Well, I also like how, um, didn't he just have that same conversation with... Good evening. ...the other guild member? It's like, ah, oh, yes, I heard you killed his six Imperial Guards. Does everyone just wind up killing all the Imperial Guards? Also, I did not need to go out this way. At all. Force of habit, I suppose. But it's fine. Whatever. All right, the Renegade Shadow Scale must journey to the southeastern tip of Cyrodiil to a swamp known as Bogwater. There I will find a Renegade Shadow Scale known as Scartail. I must kill Scartail and return his heart to Tinava. Uh, let's walk from, eh, from Fort Blue Blood. Yeah. So it's a minor thing, but I just found this seam in the world. 
Like, this line just runs perfectly down the world. Oh, do you see it? It just keeps on going. Wait, there's another one. Wait. What's going on here? Well, no, that one stops. This one just... Hmm. I am not sure, but... I don't know, it just looked a little out of place, like I just noticed it. Oh, no, I think it's just... Oh, is this just the way the texture tessellates? Huh. It must be, because, yeah, I'm just seeing these lines everywhere now. Yeah, that's probably just how they connected the texture, but now I'm just super, super aware of it, and... I mean, I'm not gonna just sit here and focus on it, but... That one's a little obvious. <laughs> yeah, no, here you go, it's just like four of them. Five of them! Four, five, count them now! But it looks like it's just for that one specific ground texture. Like, it's not happening on the grass or anything, so... I don't know. It just stood out to me. Oh! Dead Argonian agent. Well, they are sending people after him, that's the thing. Good afternoon. Oh, hello. I guess I've been expecting you, assassin. Don't try to deny it. I can see it in your eyes. Your dark brotherhood through and through. Let me guess. It was Ochiva, right? No, wait. Uh, Tainava. Yes, he put you up to this, didn't he? Ochiva was always too busy to even be bothered. Well, you can kill me if you like. I'm afraid I won't make much of a challenge, though. The Argonian Royal Court already sent an agent to do the job. He's dead. He failed, of course. His body's around here somewhere. But he got in a pretty good hit. If I don't get some rest, I'm probably dead anyway. So maybe I can appeal to your sense of goodwill, huh? <laughs> you let me live, and I'll tell you where I stashed my treasure. Is it a deal? Oh. Hmm. Sure. It's a deal. You show unexpected mercy. For that, I am thankful. My treasure is hidden in a hollowed-out rock near my campfire. It's yours. You better get some rest now. Oh, yes. I suppose Tainava wants proof that I'm dead, eh? Let me guess. My heart? I suggest you take the heart of the dead Argonian agent. His body is around here somewhere. Present the agent's heart to Tainava as proof, and he'll be none the wiser. Hey. Uh. Did you really think I was gonna let you off that easy? Why? Did you really think you were gonna get off that easy? I just wanted to know where the treasure was. scartail has been killed. I must now return to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary in Chadenhall and present his heart to Tainava. Uh. I keep on getting the notifications that everyone dies before I can even kill them. Or before I even see myself kill them. Really? Trained killer, and you have, um... And you have an iron longsword. 400 gold, there you go. I mean, what was I gonna do? Let that gold go to waste? I don't think so. Uh, so here's my only concern. Because now it's saying both the quest uh, steps for Scartail has been killed and I've obtained the Argonian's heart. Talking about the second Argonian. Yeah, because he also has just what's marked as Argonian heart. Like, they really should have marked one as T. Nava's heart and the other as just Argonian heart. Because I'm guessing that's what's causing the issue here. You can't tell me that they didn't think that people were going to lie to him and say, Sure, I'll I'll spare you. Just tell me where your treasure is. And then kill him after the fact. 
I had no loyalty to him. I have a loyalty to my brothers and sisters of the Dark Brotherhood. Well, let's see what it says. Hopefully, it'll say, like, oh, yeah, I killed Tina, or not Tina, but I killed, um, Scartail. And it won't show as, like, a lie. Like, that's what I'm hoping here. Because I was always going to kill him. Ha! Ah, yes, that is an Argonian heart. Of that, I'm sure. You have slain Scartail. Well done. Please, take these boots as payment for your services. They are called the Boots of Bloody Bounding, and carry a powerful enchantment. Ooh. I'm sure you will find them most useful. I'm sure I will. Tell me of Scartail. Scartail was once as a brother to me and Ochiva. But his act of treason destroyed any vestige of that relationship. His death was well deserved. Okay. All right. May you walk always in the shadow of Cities, dear brother. Well, it was Scartail's heart, and I don't think it mattered too much. Or at least I sure hope not. Hi. Oh, don't walk away from me. Well, now. You are an ambitious one, aren't you? I'm afraid I have no more contracts for you. Our time working together has come to an end. Instead, you must report to Ochiva here in the sanctuary. She will be providing all your contracts from now on and is waiting for you as we speak. Before you go, however, I intend to make good on an offer I made some time ago. As a vampire, I may pass my gift on to others as I see fit. You have served me well, and I choose now to extend that gift to you. Shall I use my dark powers and turn you into a vampire? No, uh, not right now. But thank you for the offer. Yes, I can understand your trepidation. For it is not every day one is invited to join the ranks of the undead, eh? If you ever change your mind, fear not. My offer will always be open. Simply return and speak to me about the dark gift, and we can proceed. You ever notice that no one else ever takes you up on your offer? Spill some blood for me, dear brother. Like, if everyone really, really cared about the offer, don't you think more people here would be vampires? Hmm? So, you know, maybe, maybe read the room. Maybe take the hint that not everyone is down to uh, be a bloodsucker. Ah, greetings. I have been waiting for you. As Vicente surely told you, your time working with him has come to an end. From now on, you will receive all assignments directly from me. In fact, your next contract is available now. All right, well, tell me of my contract. In the Imperial City, there lives a high elf who must be removed from existence. Finding this person may prove challenging. Are you interested? Why might it prove challenging? Always, I accept the contract. I knew you wouldn't be able to resist. Your target is a high elf named Thalian. He lives somewhere in the Imperial City and fancies long walks. Unfortunately, that's all we know. We don't know which district he calls home, which establishments he frequents, or anything about his schedule. This contract will require a bit of detective work. I suggest you speak to your fellow brothers and sisters and see if they can offer any advice. Ah, yes, there is one more thing. The Imperial City is also home to an Imperial Legion captain named Adamus Philida. Do you know who that is? Philida, that self-righteous lapdog. Um, I don't think I have. I'm gonna go with no. Because if I did meet them, then I just don't know who he is. Philida has dedicated his life to eradicating the Dark Brotherhood. And he becomes rather irate when our duties take us to the Imperial City. 
When that happens, he tends to make our lives uncomfortable. Let's not give the good captain any reason to go poking around in our affairs, hmm? Okay. If possible, do away with Faley in some place out of the way. Definitely indoors with no other people around. A secure location with no witnesses. This will make it look like a simple murder. Philida will be none the wiser, and you'll receive a nice bonus. Now go, and may Slithus go with you. So, find out where he lives and just kill him in his sleep, essentially. I feel like that's going to be the kind of best way to go about that. I don't want to kill him on his long walk. That just sounds like a terrible idea. Why are you closing that door? Well, all right, she closed the door and walked through the door as it closed. Well then. It's good to see you again. I hope your contracts have been giving you much pleasure. All right, so tell me... Well, okay, I just have to ask about the contract, not about the target itself. I do so love pursuing a contract in the Imperial City, the alleys, the shadows, the challenge of evading Philida's legion troops. <laughs> I envy you. All right. <laughs> May you walk always in the shadow of Cities. This is all you brother. had to say. It's like I like the Imperial City too, for different reasons, but thanks. Oh, there's no one here. I guess everyone went to sleep. I mean, I could use any help I can get. Any advice, any suggestions. No one knows who he is, so that part is just completely up to me, but... Everything else, give me all the information. Taking the long way around, huh? Could have gotten out of bed right here. Yes, dearest brother. Is there something I can help you with? She seems so normal compared to all the others. Any advice on the contract? Know what I'd do? Talk to Falian, learn who he is. Maybe then you can lead him to a secluded place. Then, when you're alone, you know. <laughs> Maybe not that normal. All right, thank you. Good luck, brother. I hope you don't get killed. <laughs> Good advice, though. I mean, well, you know. Like, that was good advice, I will say. You again. I thought I made it clear I'm not looking for a friend. If you're here to buy or sell something, get on with it already. Because here's the thing. He's not an assassin now, is he? Foul-smelling ape. Fuck you two. Why are you switching beds? What's wrong with yours? It looks fine to me. I know what you're thinking. Okay, we already had that conversation. Let's talk about the contract. Now this is what I'm talking about. You kill him up close, face to face, and you still get the bonus. <laughs> I wish all the contracts were like that. Now the only other person I can think to talk to is Happy Vincente. Hunting, my brother. I don't see him here, so he might just still be in the common room. Hey, maybe he'll be helpful with this one, who knows? Has anyone seen him? Oh, there you are. I hope I can help. Me too, buddy. The elves of the Imperial City are a fairly close-knit community. One of them will have at least heard of Falian. You should ask around. Perfect. Spill some blood for me, dear brother. All right, well, we got two hints. One, ask the elves. Two, Befriend him and then be like, hey, buddy, you want to see my awesome, uh, dagger collection? And he's gonna say, oh, that sounds lovely. And then I take him into a room and I'm like, oh, yeah, here's my dagger. And then I stab him with it. Problem solved. Market district? No, I feel like I would want to go to... Well, I guess the Elven Gardens district isn't exactly the Elven community. The Elven Gardens district isn't where the elves live. It's just the Elven Gardens. All right, sure. Market District. What is it? Have you heard? That big galleon down at the waterfront? Someone killed the captain. What? Right there on the ship. 
I've heard others say the same. Have you read the latest Black Horse Courier? Go ahead. I read the thing once in a while. News from the other provinces? Right, so I have to Nothing speak like to with so long, if you're the elves. For just galleon down at the just waterfront. Elves. Someone killed the captain. Right there on the ship. What? Oh, you're alright, you're a human. I couldn't tell because this ear was covered by hair, so I wasn't sure. What's Take this care. About? I'll be seeing you. Uh copious coin purse, is that the elven merchant? It is. It is good to see you again. It is good to see you too. Have you heard of a man named Phalion? Phalion, you say? Why, yes, I know who he is. Rather distasteful fellow, actually. I believe he lives at the Tiber Septim Hotel. That's in the Talos Plaza District, here in the Imperial City. I'd ask around there if I were you. Perfect. Please, return soon. It's always a pleasure to see you. Man, that was real, real Greetings. easy. Who knew it would be that easy? So he's a distasteful fellow, eh? Am I gonna find out why he's distasteful? Like, am I gonna find out... Well, probably not gonna find out why someone wants him dead, but you know. I'm nosy, I'm curious, I like to know these things. If I'm gonna kill a man in cold blood, I would like to know why. Because that was the thing in, um, Do you need something? in Skyrim. I feel like you usually knew why, like explicitly knew why someone wanted all of these different targets dead. How are you? How are you? What? Hmm? Have you heard of a man named Phalion? Phalion? Oh, I know him all right. A waste of life, that one. He lives here, you know, with his sweetheart, a trainer. Oh, damn it. What that poor girl sees in him, I'll never know. A trainer pays for their room, their food, everything. She's quite wealthy, I believe. He has a girlfriend. Phalian used to have money. Used to be quite a gentleman, too. But that was before he took a fancy to the, you know, the skooma. Oh. Now, Phalian's hardly ever here. He's off using skooma or wandering the city looking for some, I imagine. He comes back every night to be with a trainer. But only for a few hours, I swear. That high elf is going to wind up dead if he keeps living like this. That's perfect. I'm going to talk to him and say, like, hey. Be seeing you. How are you doing? I befriend him, and I'm like, hey, do you, uh... Do you have any skooma? Where I'll say, like, oh, I know where there's some skooma. Do you like skooma? And he's going to say, you know, I dabble. I, uh, I dabble in skooma. And I'll say, well, that's, that's perfect. I know where oh, to find you. some. Dear Phalian, why must you ruin both our lives? What if she's the one who wanted him dead? Wouldn't that be funny? Yes, good sir. How may I help you? I'm looking for Phalian. Please, I... I don't mean to get emotional, but... I feel I can trust you. I just don't know what to do about Phalian. All he thinks about, all he cares about is Skuma. He was a fine young man once, but he's lost everything. His looks, his money, his self-respect. I followed him a few times to see where he goes. He walks around the city looking for skooma. And then he goes to Lorkmere's house for several hours. It's in the Elfin Gardens district. I think the house is deserted. That's why he goes there, so he can escape from life and do his skooma. Thank you for listening. You're a good friend. I just hope my sweet Phalian can clean himself up, or that awful skooma will be the death of him. I feel like that was weirdly mm. easy. Oh, yes. Goodbye. That was weirdly easy. You look like I can trust you, sir, wearing very yes. ominous, dark armor. Which I guess most people wouldn't know it's Dark Brotherhood armor. It's not like we just have oh, hello. Hello. Good the guild you. sigil Rathan on it or anything. Smith. One of the It'd be one thing if it had me. the big red hand, but it doesn't. Look at the muscles on you. Why, thank you. 
speak. Take a picture. It'll last longer. But here's the thing. So he's just... Oh, he's right here. Wait. Lorkmere's house? Is that the one? No, I don't think so. Okay, yeah, it is Lokmir's house. But it's locked. And it's the middle of the day. Let's do... What rings am I using? I'm going to take off the black band, and I'm going to put on... My Ring of Shadows. Still detected. There we go. Perfect. And there's no one else around, correct? Hey! Hey! How... What are... Uh, what are you... Doing Oh no. Here? You're not my... Not my friend? What? You know, what, what do you want? Oh, that skooma life really hit him hard. Shh. Hush now. It's time to sleep. Sleep? Uh, but, nah. No, I, I... I'm not tired. Not tired right now. I have lots of, you know, energy. The skooma. I can feel it in my veins. Wait, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave! Ow! He almost got away. I had to make sure he, I killed him. He looked like he was about to go out the door. Valian is dead. I killed him in Lokmir's house, a secure location with no witnesses. I must now return to the sanctuary and speak with Ochiva and receive my reward and bonus. That one felt incredibly easy. Not that a lot of these have been super, super difficult, but compared to, you know, sneaking through the Imperial City prison and everything, this felt a lot easier. Like, I thought I was going to have to befriend him, walk down the streets, follow him to his house or something. It's like, oh no, just talk to like two people. Well, three. Three people. I talked to Thorinir, I talked to uh, the owner slash innkeep at the Tiber Septum Hotel, and then I spoke to his girlfriend. And it's like, alright, bing, bang, boom. You're dead. <laughs> 